Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to fill my December wrap up. I forgot which month we were in, so that's great. I've been really bad at filming wrap ups this year, but I swear last month I read like 19 books and this month I read 19 books if I can count correctly. And I have not read that many books in any of the other months, so usually I'm not this good. I don't know what's happening, it's just happening, okay? Let's just get started because I'm probably going to speak forever and I'm trying to go fast. The first books or mangas I read this month was Pac-Man and Volume 1, 1 and Volume 2. I sort of cheated because I usually read one manga, then a book, then a manga again, but I read two mangas after one another. This book follows Mirai who is really really depressed and he tries to kill himself and then an angel shows up and stays him and offers him abilities so he can become happy basically. The story surrounds more than that but that's all I want to say right now. I didn't know more than that when I went in. I really liked it. It's about angels, abilities and there is lots more other things going on. It is also written by the creatures of Death Note so if you like those you should check this out. I think I gave both of them four stars or three stars. I don't recall right now. Probably four stars. I don't remember. It's so many books ago, okay? The next book I then read was Silence by Shusaku Endo. It's basically about Father Sebastian. I had to look at the name to remember it. He's from Europe and he sends himself on a mission to go to Japan to follow a priest that he knew a few years ago and that priest he's following has been told that he has left his faith, his Christianity faith. This is set in the 1640s, it's a historical fiction novel. The reason I picked this up is because we had a lot about the period of time that this is written, uh, this is set in, not written in, but this is set in and it was really interesting to see that how much we learned about it and how much it was accurate and how much this book was accurate to history. I really thought this was interesting, much more interesting than I would think to have a book that is basically questioning faith. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars and the writing was so much easier actually than I thought it would be. I thought it would be hard to read but it wasn't and uh, it was also really short but it was really enjoyable as well. Since I read two mangas after one another, I read two books after another, one another to make up for that. I therefore read The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Percy Jackson series. I have already read this one in Norwegian a long long time ago but I'm rereading all the books I have read before I can continue and stuff. It's really really enjoyable. I really really like this one because one of my favorite characters I introduced in this one. It is amazing and they are so much fun and there is more coming soon. Just wait. I then read Blue Exorcist Volume 2 by Gatsuo Kato. The series follows Rin who finds out he is the son of Satan. Satan? That was a weird way to say Satan there. Wow. And there is like exorcists to exorcist demons and fight them and stuff in the series. It is really really fun. It's a lot of humor in it but a lot of dark fun stuff too. I watched like half the anime so I'm still in the like anime area when I'm reading them but I'm really enjoying them and this is my favorite character. His name is Yukio. He's adorable and I love him. The next book I then read was Cocodile Voktan by Krachukina Engbag. That was weird to sort of say Norwegian and sort of say in English. This is originally a Danish book and it is translated into Norwegian. I think if you were going to translate it to English it would be The Crocodile Guardian or The Crocodile Protector. I don't know which way they would go. It's basically a crime novel. Someone is killed. It follows one of the, the detectives that is going to solve the case and it's really like typical crime novel thingies that I don't really like and I really didn't like this one. It wasn't bad, it's just like I'm not like a big fan of this book so I already knew I wasn't going to be like a super fan. I just didn't care really. Maybe it's my problem but as I said it's not really my thing so I gave it like two out of five stars. It wasn't like horrible so I didn't give it one star. I was sort of entertaining at times but meh. If you're a fan of the genre though I'm pretty sure you could like this one. I then read My Hero Academia by Kuo Horikoshi. If you don't know what this series is about I don't know what you're doing. We are in the future and the future is a superhuman society. 80% of the population has uh, a quirk which is like a special ability and it has grown into a super villain or superhero society. It follows uh, Midoriya and his classmates that goes to a hero school to be heroes and this is like 10th volume so I come pretty far with the series. It is amazing. I love it so much and if you haven't read it 
or watched anime, just please do it. It's so freaking fun, okay? It's so fun. The next book I then read was Wonder by R.G. Palacio or Palacio, or I have no idea how I pronounce that name. I'm so sorry. This is a middle grade novel. It's about August, who has a severe facial deformity, if that is the right word to use. He has been homeschooled all his life, so it starts with him starting school and we read a story from lots of different pers perspectives, which I didn't expect, but it was really nice. This book was so nice. I mean, I cried like three times. It was beautiful. It's about kindness. It's a really nice story about bullying and it's just about choosing kindness. I do really recommend it. I've been wanting to read it for such a long time. I finally picked it up because the movie is out, but it's not out here in Norway struggles. The next manga that I read was Kakegurui Volume 1. I don't have the copy because I borrowed it from my friend but this is basically about a new girl transferring to the school where they do gambling because they're all super rich and everyone is everyone is crazy and the system is crazy and it's basically about them being crazy and gambling and it was so much fun because just when they gamble, I couldn't guess like how they were doing it and it always like real how they were doing it and I loved it so much. It was a lot of fun. I watched a few episodes of the anime and it's really good too. So if you like really, really, really crazy people, do recommend and it was a lot of fun. I then read The Titan's Curse by Rick Ryland, the third book in the first of Jackson series. This is the last one I already read previously and I really really enjoyed this. I remembered a lot from The Lightning Thief and The Sea of Monsters but I didn't remember quite as much in this one even though I already read it so I was really shocked by some of the things happening and that was fun. Again, love these books a lot. I then read Kakiguri Guri Volume 2 which was just as great as the first one. They're also really like thick compared to other mangas, so that was great, but I think it's a long way until the next one comes, if I remember correctly. The next one I then read was Mosquito Land by David Arnold. The story following Mim, who basically runs away from home because she's gonna take the bus to her mother's house because her parents got divorced. I don't want to say more than that. The writing was really strange. It took me a long time to get into it. And the characters were a bit strange, but it was like a totally fine story and I really 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 liked the ending even though it sort of gave me a really big scare there. She does struggle with a lot of mental illness but they really never said what kind of mental illness it was. I don't know if that was necessary but maybe it was. I'm not sure. I did enjoy the story but I didn't love it so I gave it like three out of five stars. It was really enjoyable. Not the best book in my opinion, for me at least. Then read The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 3, which is full of Shiva, which is in this world where we have the outside and the inside, and on the outside there are monsters, and the insides are humans, and they can't meet the monsters because then they get affected and stuff. And there's about this girl in the middle of all of it. It's really like a fairy tale, and I really, really like it. If you have not picked this up yet, and if you want something really atmospheric, do so. I then, by some miracle, finished The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan. I listened to this on audiobook. The audiobook was 44 hours. I've been listening to it since the 31st of May, so that's like six or seven months. Congrats to me, I have not been listening that well on audiobook. It's so heavy and so long stretched out that it can be a bit tedious at times, but it is really enjoyable series. I have 10 more books to go in this series. Yay for me. It's really like a typical fantasy setup. There's about three boys from a really tiny village called Emmons Field and then the story starts from there because they find out that they need to leave because people are attacking the village and they want them for some reason because maybe they are chosen for great things. Ha! Huh? That's all I'm saying. I don't know how to explain this series. Just but yeah, I finished another one. Be proud. I then read The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan and I have not previously read this one so that was a lot of fun. It was so much fun and so intense and so many things is happening and I can't wait for the last book in this series. I need to read a couple of books before that but I'm soon there and as I said I really really enjoy these ones and I just can't wait to continue like 
more into the later series of his. I really want to read Apollo, like, but I have so many books to go, why? I then read Blue Exorcist by Kasuga Kato, William Tree, which continues the series. I only told you what it's about, so I'm not gonna say it again. Again, really, really enjoyable and fun and yeah. Soon catching up where I was in anime though, so that's that's gonna be cool. And the next one is Captain Prince by C.S. Picard, which I know how to pronounce now because I listened to this on the audiobook and I already read it before last year. Listening to the audiobook of this series is something I wanted to do since I read it last year, but it never was an audiobook, but then it came this year and I was so excited, but I had to listen to Wheel of Time book 4, so uh, finally, and I finished in like 3 days, so if you compare this to the 6 months here, it's pretty amazing, but it also was like 6 hours compared to 44 hours. I am currently listening to the second one, so it will probably be my wrap-up for next month. And I absolutely love this series. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. A lot of trigger warnings for this series for rape and pedophilia and abuse and violence and other things like that. But it's not a YA story, so you know that. And the next book I read caught me by total surprise because I was not planning to finish it this month. I thought I'm not gonna finish a 400 page book before the month is over because I was working every day too, so that's not gonna work out. And that book is Metamorphosis, struggling with pronouncing our word, by Patricia Juarez. And this book, if you never heard about it before, is a reason for that because this is self-published, I would say is the word for it. And it's also a fan fiction with Ereri from Attack on Titan. My friend is a huge fan of her because she's mostly popular on Instagram and she does post her stories previously on another page, but I never actually read that. And she bought her books because she published them in these uh, editions so people could buy her stories and have them physically, which is awesome by the way. I borrowed this copy from my friend and I still haven't given it back because I literally finished it like not yesterday but the day before. This book f basically follows Levi and Aaron, which are a rarity if you were not previously aware. A totally not Attack on Titan ish setting at all, it's like a contemporary setting and I don't want to say more than that but it was so freaking amazing. I mean, I there's a reason I finished this in two days. I read 350 pages the first day and then like I finished the rest of the book like the next day and it was freaking amazing. It's amazing how much I wasn't expecting to love it so much and considering the fact that she published this all by herself is so cool. I'm not sure if you can buy this anymore but I'm pretty sure you can still read it on the internet. I am not aware because I didn't do my research before filming, but I love this story so much. The book has its flaws that I don't want to actually go into because I liked it so much that my likeness for this book oversees those flaws, but as I said, I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. What? I mean, that never happens. And I can speak about how much I love this all day. It's also really like amateur, so that was also one of the reasons I loved it, because I'm a dirty person. She has other books published, so I'm gonna probably borrow them from my friend, because my friend has almost all of them, so I can die some more, and that's great! The last book I read in the month of November was Saga Volume 2. The story follows two races being in the war, but a lot of old races have been included in the war and then there's like a couple from the different races together and it starts with them having a baby and people are after them and I don't know if that was a spoiler but it's not really and it is amazing I mean I didn't expect to do it this much it's also like it's bigger than my head so that was fun I mean, are all these books bigger than my head? I don't know. So that was it for this video. I am doing Vlogmas right now, so that video will be up after this video. You will see me actually really soon in a new video then, because that is something that never happens. Do talk to me if you read any of these books and what you thought about them or other books you read in the month of November, not December. And you will see me soon, soon. Bye.